हेलो स्टूडेंट्स सो टुडेज आर टॉपिक इज नाउन सो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस दीज टॉपिक्स इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू सो डेफिनेशन ऑफ नाउन कॉमन नाउन्स प्रॉपर नाउन्स कलेक्टिव नाउन्स मटीरियल नाउन्स एब्सट्रैक्ट नाउन्स कंक्रीट नाउन्स कंपाउंड नाउन्स काउंटेबल नाउन्स नॉन काउंटेबल नाउन्स सिंगुलर नाउन्स प्लूरल नाउन्स फॉर्मिंग ऑफ प्लूरल नाउन्स नाउन्स विद जेंडर्स पोजेसिव नाउन्स so let's just get started so the definition of noun is noun are the names of people animals places and things example is boys boy mother father hirsch dog cat jaipur banana like we are having dog this is the example of an animal cat is an example of animal jaipur is an example of city and this banana is an example of thing and these are the peoples like boy mother father and hirsch these are the example of peoples so like we are having few, few pictures in front of you we are having a boy and a girl in this picture we are having a banana in this picture this is the place picture of a place and this is a father having his son in his arms so this is the example of a people which is of noun this is also people this is the thing and this is the place so now we are having common nouns so words that are the common names for persons animals places and things are called common nouns examples are like we are having boy mother father cat dog and city like we are having a city i have not specified which city i am talking about i am just saying that we are having a city we are talking about a city i have not mentioned about the that city so it would be considered as a common noun like we are having school there are many school around you so i have not mentioned the name of that particular school so it would be considered in a common noun house breakfast sandwich we have not considered or specified the category of it so we will consider that in common noun now like we are having proper noun so words that are the particular names of a person places animals and thing if i'll categorize or specify that category or that thing so that would be a proper noun like we are having few examples so those examples are like hirsch we are having a boy if i am saying that i am talking about a boy then that would be a common noun if i am specifying the name of that person then that would be considered in your proper noun so we i have specified the name which is hirsch so this would be your proper noun bella delhi now we are talking about city so we are have uh, i have written the name of that city so this would be your proper noun tommy again this is the name of a person and this is jaipur which is your city so this is your proper noun note we are having a note for you that a proper noun always begins with a capital letter whenever you are mentioning a proper noun just try to mention the first letter as capital letter like i have written hirsch over here so the first letter of this word is capital bella the first letter is capital delhi the first letter is capital tommy the first letter t is capital and here j is capital in jaipur so now we are having some collective nouns for you words that are the names of groups places animals and things are known as collective noun like if you are talking about some group group of people a bunch of flowers then that would be a collective noun if you are talking about more than one people like we are have a bouquet of flowers bunch of keys these words which are highlighted for you is the word which will specify you about the group like we are having bouquet pack troop group or bunch these word are just to categorize or to tell you that we are talking about a group or more than one thing only those nouns which indicate a collection of things are known as collective noun the words or the nouns which are specifying you about the collection are known as collective noun now material noun words which are the names of material the things which we which are made up of like furniture is made up of wood jewelry is made up of either silver or gold so these these would be the example of your material noun so use of for making other things are called material noun example of material nouns are he put the wood in the fireplace so here the wood which is your material would be your material noun the statue is made of bronze since that statue is made up of bronze this is a material that we used to make that statue so this would be your material noun 
now another example is we use silver to make jewelry so we are using silver to make that jewelry so this silver would be your material now so now we are having abstract noun so an abstract noun is the name of an action quality feeling or state which we cannot touch or see but only we can feel that now we are having some examples of abstract noun like action laughter dance or growth we cannot touch it we cannot see it we just can feel it now quality beauty cleverness bravery and now state is childhood sleep or sickness these are the states these are the actions and these are the quality which are categorized into the abstract noun now we are having concrete noun so concrete noun are the name of things that we can see touch and feel the things which we can easily see touch or we can feel that like we are having examples bucket you can touch that water we can see it tree we can touch that we can see it mangoes like pinku climbed the tree to pluck mangoes this word is highlighted for you mangoes is also highlighted for you these are your concrete nouns since we cannot we can see it and we can touch these two things so now we are having compound nouns so compound nouns are the nouns formed by joining two or more nouns the meaning of the compound noun can sometimes be completely different from the word used to form it so this is the definition of your compound noun and we the examples are like see we are having these two this is different noun and this is your different noun after combining these two nouns we get a totally different thing which is time table table is a different thing which is your thing time is also a thing when we combine these two nouns what you get is time table which is totally different from these two words from which it is originated the next example is black plus board and what we get is blackboard this is your compound noun again we are having well plus be so the compound compound form of this is well being so this is the example of compound noun now we are having countable nouns the things which we can count are your countable nouns noun which can be counted are called countable nouns example is like we are having two books you can easily count that 1 2 so this is your countable noun three bags 1 2 3 4 the things which you can easily count are your countable nouns so now we are having uncountable noun the noun which we cannot count are called uncountable nouns examples are air water sugar flour these are the examples of uncountable noun the uh, things which we cannot count so uncountable nouns do not have a plural of plural form now we are having singular nouns for you singular nouns are used as names of a single person animal or a thing if you are talking about a single person a single thing one thing then that would be a singular noun example is mother a baby or a car now plural noun is if you are talking about more than one person more than one thing more than one place then that would be a plural noun plural nouns are the are used as names of more than one person more than one person more than one animal or more than one thing so examples are like we are having toys if you are talking about one toy then that would be a singular noun since i am talking about more than one toy so we have mentioned it toys eggs and apples now how to convert a singular noun into the plural one so this is the example this is the thing to explain you how to form it into the plural noun so first of all when we form a plural noun for most nouns we add s at the end of the word mostly we just put s at the end of that word if you need to convert it into the plural like we are having house if you convert it into the plural if you are talking about more than one house then we will use s at the end of that word so it would be converted into houses similarly if you are talking about one river like i am talking about ganga so that would be ganga river if you are talking about more than one river so that would be your rivers i just put that at s at the end of this word spoon about one spoon and if you are talking about more than one spoon that that would be spoons now when a singular noun ends in s double x x z ch or sh these are the few things which we need to notice is if any word is ending with s 
डबल एस एक्स जेड सी एच और एस एच वी एड ई एस एट द एंड ऑफ दैट वर्ड लाइक वी आर हैविंग फ्यू एग्जाम्पल्स बस दिस वर्ड इज एंडिंग विद एस सो जस्ट पुट ई एस एट द एंड ऑफ दिस वर्ड सो इट वुड कन्वर्टेड इन टू बसेस क्लास वी आर हैविंग डबल एस सो जस्ट पुट ई एस एट द एंड ऑफ दिस वर्ड सो क्लास वुड कन्वर्टेड इन टू क्लासेस नाउ फॉक्स एक्स एट द एंड सो आई जस्ट पुट ई एस सिमिलरली क्विज इज कन्वर्टेड इन टू क्विजेस ब्रांच इज कन्वर्टेड इन टू ब्रांचेस एंड विश इज कन्वर्टेड इन टू विशेस Now, for a singular noun ending in o, we add es to form the plural of it. If a word is ending with o, then we will put es at the end, like we are having potato. So, since this word is ending with o, so I just have putted es at the end of it, so it converted into potatoes. Similarly, in mango, this word is also ending with o, so I just put es at the end, so this word is converted into mangoes. Similarly, hero is converted into heroes. However, there are some nouns ending in o that forms the plural by ending s. Like we are having some words like photo, piano, and zoo. In such words, if you are converting that into the plural plural one, you just need to put s at the end. Like photo is converted into photos. I haven't put es. I just put s. So photo is converted into photos. Piano is converted into pianos. and this zoo is converted into zoos you cannot say that it is should be z double o e s it is z double o s so now a singular noun that ends with a y and if a word is ending with y preceding by a consonant form the plural by dropping the y and adding i e s in our alphabets we are having total 26 alphabets with v Among that, there are twenty-one consonants and five vowels, and that vowels are a, e, i, o, u. So we are right now. I am talking about consonants. So if a word is, if we are having y at the end of a noun, and if the preceding word of this y, preceding means just a number. Sorry, sorry, a num word before it. Like I am having y, preceding alphabet is t. If the preceding alphabet is consonant. So then just remove this y from here and put i e s at its place like i'm having this y is the last letter and just preceding one is t which is a consonant so i just remove this y from here and i just kept i e s at its place so it becomes cities similarly y the preceding alphabet is b which is again a consonant so i just removed y from here and i just kept i e s so it converted into babies similarly remove y from berry this is a consonant again so it is converted into berries now if a singular noun ends with y and is preceded by a vowel now we are talking about vowels which are a e i o u the five vowels are again a e i o u so the plural is formed by adding s if you are having a vowel before your y then what we need to do is just just put s at the end of the word like i'm having ray y is your last letter after before it we are having a so just put s so ray is converted into rays monkey since here it is vowel so it is converted into monkeys and toy is converted into toys if a singular noun ends in f or fe then we change the ending to v e s when forming the plural is like we are having example if the last letter is either f or letters are f e then just convert it into v e s like we are having life so our last letters are f e so just remove it and put v e s at its place so life is converted into lives and wife similarly we are having again we are having f e so just remove it and at its place is put v e s so wife is converted into wives leaf since we are having just f over here so just remove it and put v e s so leaf is converted into leaves however for some nouns that end in f or f e the plural is formed by adding s now i am having some noun at which we just need to put s at the end of that word to make it plural like we are having chief so chief is converted into chiefs i just kept s at the end of that word giraffe is converted into giraffes and roof is converted into 
रूप्स सो नाउ वी आर हैविंग इरेगुलर नाउन्स सो इरेगुलर नाउन्स डू नॉट फॉलो एनी रूल्स वेन दे फॉर्म प्लूरल द रूल्स विच वी हैव नॉट स्टडीड यट और विच आई हैव नॉट टॉट यू येट सो वुमेन इज कन्वर्टेड इन टू वीमेन गूस इज कन्वर्टेड इन टू गीस एंड चाइल्ड इज कन्वर्टेड इन टू चिल्ड्रेन सो द प्लूरल फॉर्म ऑफ इफ यू आर टॉकिंग अबाउट अ सिंगल वुमेन देन दैट वुड बी वुमन एंड दिस इज वीमेन गूस इज इफ यू आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द सिंगलर वन और वन देन दैट वुड बी गूस एंड इफ यू आर टॉकिंग अबाउट मेनी दैन दैट इज कन्वर्टेड इन टू गीस सिंगल स्टूडेंट इज चाइल्ड एंड इफ यू आर टॉकिंग अबाउट मेनी दैन दैट वुड बी चिल्ड्रेन now some nouns are always used in their singular form if there are some nouns which are always used in singular form you cannot put put s e s you cannot say news it should be s with news always you cannot put s or e s in further of this word equipment and information these are few example of those nouns which are always in their singular form some noun always take their plural form when though they refer to one thing there are some examples of plural noun also which we always use in their plural form like if i have ironed a single trouser then also i'll say that it is trousers i iron my trousers carefully okay my uncle bought me a pair of sunglasses you won't use sunglass here we will say sunglasses from thailand some nouns have the same singular and plural form examples the deer walked out of the forest if you are talking about a single deer we will use deer similarly if you are using for that for more than one deer then also we will use the same word for it we will won't put s e s or anything at its word so the, this is the example of the noun which we can use for singular as well as for the plural form of it the film finding dory was about a group of fish it we are talking about group even after that i just kept fish over here i haven't put es or s after this word so now abstract nouns usually have only the singular form example my father we ha i have taught you about abstract noun so this is the thing which you kept in which you should keep in your mind is abstract noun usually have only the singular form when we are talking about abstract noun what you need to do is just use the singular form of it like my father loves listening to classical music so this is a singular form of music we should listen to the advice advice is a abstract noun we haven't put s or es after it so it should be in its singular form which is advice of those who are wiser than us so now we are having uh, another rule for you the thing is the collective nouns are usually singular but some have a plural form example the choir is singing beautifully here this word represent the plural form but it is written in the singular form only here we are talking about more than one people but i have written i have not put s after it it should be people only the people work for the good of the country now we need to discuss about gender nouns are divided into four categories on the basis of their gender like we are having masculine gender a noun which refers to a man is said to be masculine gender example your father uncle boy and hero if you are talking about a male then that should be said masculine gender now feminine gender is a noun which refers to a female is said to be a feminine gender mother aunt girl and heroine common gender is a noun which can refer to both male and female is said to be the common noun like if you are talking about dentist we need not to mention whether she uh, he or she matlab she is a girl or a boy we just said dentist child whether she is a girl or a boy we just use child for it them parent and cousin so these are the examples of common nouns now we are having neuter noun sorry neuter gender a noun which refers to a non living thing a non living things are kept or categorized into the neuter gender is said to be of neuter gender it is neither male nor a female example pen we cannot specify any gender for it since it is a non living thing similarly car 
table and building so these are the few examples of neuter gender now we have some examples for masculine nouns and their feminine genders so boy the most feminine gender of it is girl men woman uncle aunt father mother son daughter king queen prince princess lion lioness tiger tigress poet poetess horse mare bull cow fox vixen cock hen and peacock and peahen so these were some examples for you for masculine and feminine gender nouns for possession or belonging if you are talking about the belonging of something like my handbag if i'm talking about my hand handbag that belongs to me so that is your possession or belonging nouns the noun that shows ownership or belonging like i'm having this watch so this belongs to me so this is your possession or belonging noun or belonging are called possessive nouns now we use an apostrophe after a noun that shows belonging like these are the nina's toy this is khushboo's watch like i am teaching you so this is my watch so this is khushboo's watch i'll put apostrophe s after that these toys belonging to nina so we have put this apostrophe s after the name of nina this is gov's bicycle so i have mentioned that the bicycle belongs to gov so this is gov's bicycle the bicycle belongs to gov so this is the example of possessive noun now we are having for singular noun it's not ending in s we put an apostrophe after the word if a singular noun which is not ending with s so we just put a apostrophe s after that word the example is the horse tail we have kept apostrophe s after horse similarly after tom we have kept tom's bed like now we are having some new rules for you like uh, if you are having a singular noun that is ending with s so we just put apostrophe after that we won't put s like we are having james this is the name of a person this is a name of a single person so this is showing you a singular noun so i just since this word is ending with s so i just kept a apostrophe after it i haven't put s similarly jesus jesus is for a singular one so this is your singular noun i just kept apostrophe up after it jesus crown similarly for a plural noun ending in s we use only the apostrophe after the word like dogs i am talking about the plural one so just and is this is ending with s so just put the apostrophe after that similarly girls this is also the plural one which is ending with s so i just kept a apostrophe after that for plural noun not ending in s we put an apostrophe s after that word if you're talking about a plural noun and if it is not ending with s like i am talking about children children is a plural form of child and since this word is not ending with s so what we need to do is just put the apostrophe along with the s in it so this would be children's stories men this is also the plural form so i just kept apostrophe s after it and since this word is not ending with s okay so this is your men's shirts now if you're talking about uh, this is the new rule for you apostrophe is not used with a non living thing if you're talking about a non living thing then just don't put apostrophe s after it the watch is strap so this is your incorrect statement the correct statement should be the strap of watch we have not put apostrophe s after it since we are talking about a non living thing which is watch so this is your correct statement So now as we are done with our topic which is noun we have discussed types of nouns in front of you and many examples to make this topic clear to you so just go through this lecture the video again and again and just go through the books which you are having to make this topic clear to you